hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial now in my previous video I discussed about the working principle of PNP type bipolar junction transistor okay we discussed about uh, the working principle of MP and BJT in uh, the previous way one previous to the working of PNP BJT so I said that I will be posting a video related to basic concepts related to holes and electrons generation of electrons and holes and uh, concepts related to their movement so let us try to understand some basic concepts related to holes and electrons okay first electron we all know from our high school physics that electron is a negative charged subatomic particle with mass 9.109 into 10 power minus 31 kg and has an electronic char electric charge of minus 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb we all know this okay that electron is a negatively charged subatomic sub particle which revolves around the nucleus in certain well-defined paths called as orbits according to Bohr's atomic model we all have studied that so what is this new concept called as hole what is hole most of us uh, we are always confused about holes what is hole so let us try to understand that a hole simply means a missing electron okay hole simply means a missing electron or a vacancy a vacant spot a vacant site for an electron okay so whenever the term hole comes up you simply visualize a vacant site waiting to be filled by an electron okay absence of electron causes hole so now we should uh, understand how the holes and electrons they are created one important thing to understand here is that holes and electrons are always created in pairs it means that whenever a free electron is generated a hole will be created so let us take the example of semiconductors uh, we will consider silicon semiconductor atom we know that two neighboring silicon atoms let us say are bound together by a covalent bond consisting of two electrons now let us say with the application of energy from outside or external energy we are able to break this covalent bond so when this covalent bond, uh, bond is broken one of these electrons is free okay this electron becomes free so when this electron becomes detached or moves away from the covalent bond by breaking the covalent bond it leaves a vacant site this this vacant site an empty space this empty spot this empty space this vacancy which is created by the movement of this electron which becomes free is called as hole so this is what is called as a hole okay hole is an hypothetical concept it has no virtual charge associated with it okay it has no physically uh, physically there is no charge associated with a hole it's just a vacant spot there is no such thing as a, uh, as a charge associated with a hole okay and one another important characteristic of the hole is that it has strong force of attraction towards electrons it attracts other electrons to occupy this empty spot it cannot remain empty for a long period of time it it is 
continuously filled up and then evacuated filled up and then eva evacuated filled up and then evacuated so this process goes on and on and on it cannot remain empty for a long period of time so it attracts other neighboring electrons to occupy this and then again it becomes empty again it gets filled up by some other electron it again becomes empty and this process goes on and on and on so this is how an electron hole pair is generated this is a free electron this is a hole it is an electron hole pair which is generated by the breaking of a covalent bond with an external energy applied now let us try to understand the movement of electrons or the movement of holes okay now one thing you must understand as i have also uh, mentioned in the previous video in the working of pnp djt that holes never move it is the electrons which always move and uh, occupy the vacant spot which gives us an impression that as if the hole is moving it is actually the location of the vacant site the location of the vacant empty electronic spot which is changing which gives us the impression that the hole is moving the location of the hole changes this is not called this is not movement of hole okay so let us try to understand how this happens let us say there are a number of electrons which are arranged in this fashion the red dots are the electrons and we have a hole here a vacant spot which has a strong force of attraction towards other neighboring electrons so let's say this empty spot attracts this electron towards it so let's say this hole attracts this electron towards it so when this electron moves and occupies this hole or vacant electronic site it creates another hole in its initial position okay here a hole is created okay so the electron this electron moved from here to here okay and created a hole in its initial position again <clears throat> okay so after moving Uh, create this electron moving from here to here and occupying this hole it creates an empty spot here so again this empty electronic spot it attracts this electron to occupy this space so this electron moves from here to here and creates a hole here in its initial position okay see a hole is created in the initial position again this empty spot it attracts this electron to move from here to here to occupy this electronic spot and thereby creating a hole in this position which is represented by this the electron moves from here to here okay and creates a hole again this empty spot okay this empty spot it attracts this electron to occupy the spot and creates a hole by this the electron is moving in this direction towards right but the hole it is moving from right to left in the opposite direction okay therefore we say that the direction of movement of the holes and the electrons they are opposite to each other okay and uh, it is actually the direction of movement of holes which is equal to the direction of flow of conventional current which is opposite to the direction of movement of the electrons so finally after uh, making subsequent movements of the electrons the hole it reaches this place to empty space it reaches this place okay so by this way the 
holes the location actually of the vacant spot or the empty spot of electron it changes which makes us the impression it gives us the impression that actually the hole is moving but there is no such thing as movement of holes it is actually the movement of electrons to occupy the hole the vacant spot which changes the location of the empty electronic spot so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to movement of electrons and holes so i hope you like this video so please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical and electronics engineering have a great day thank you very much